say it again so I know I'm not dreaming. I love you. I heard that. But I love you too. Any headaches? Nope. No. Nausea? No. What about any confusion? No more than usual. Uh -huh. Any dizziness? <laughs> no. No, okay. Good. And uh, you understand what I'm saying. Understand you can put sentences together and everything else. We are having this conversation, yes, aren't we? Yes, we are, Sam, yes. but I'm also a neurosurgeon and I get obsessive about things like that, so bear with me. Any ringing in your ears? Oh, yeah, actually a little bit. It's sort of, um, it's like a, a, like a buzz, like a, like a feedback from a mic. It's kind of okay. getting better, though. Okay, good. Um, well, it's amazing you survived the explosion with only concussion and temporary hearing loss. I'm going to be okay? It looks like that, but I don't want to push our luck. So, no walking around the hospital. I don't want to risk fainting again. Just try and relax and take it easy. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Good. I'll come back and check on you later. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. I am so relieved. So am I. You were really scared, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to believe that I was going to be okay. But I never thought the sound of your voice would be so good. Yeah, I almost lost you in that explosion. Then I came in here today, the bed was empty, and I thought that, you know, something terrible happened. And here you are. Here I am. And we need to celebrate because I'm alive. I can hear. Mm -hmm. Huh? And I'm with you. Well, now that you can actually hear me, I'm sorry. For what? Uh, for sending you back to the wedding alone. No, 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 don't, don't do that. No one could have ever imagined that Theo was going to switch me for Brenda. Yeah, I don't even want to think about that night, Jason. I just want to think about it right now. Are you tired? A little. Okay, you need to get some rest. You need to go to work. No. Yes. I can stay. Oh, come on. I can only imagine how crazy Sonny's going looking for Brenda. Dr. Nicholson, Dr. Sam. Okay. Yes. But will you do me a favor? Well, you know I will. I want you to think of something you want. Anything. And I'm going to make sure that you get it. Anything? Yes. Like you said, we need to celebrate. Yes, we do. And we will. Very soon. I don't mean to be rude, but do you work all the time? I try to pick up as many double shifts as I possibly can. When do you sleep? <laughs> well, Cameron and Jake are over at my grandmother's tonight, and Aiden's at Windermere, so I guess I'll have the house to myself. Okay, so you go Windermere and back and over there, and I just, I don't know how you do it. It's worth it. I mean, even when I'm exhausted, the boys are worth it. I bet they are. I mean, Jake was so precious the night of the bus crash. And thank you so much for letting Jason spend some time with him. He really did appreciate it. Well, yeah, I mean, it really helped Jake get his mind off of Cameron. He was so worried about his brother that night. Why is he so, he's so calm? How would you know? Well, when you get to know him, you can tell what he's feeling. He's exactly like Jason. Did you see them playing with the motorcycles together? No. I know, it's so sad that he had no idea he was playing with his dad. Well, look, I, don't, I don't think it's going to take long for him to figure it out. All he has to do is look in the mirror. It's getting pretty obvious, isn't yeah. it? I mean, I, I just can't imagine what it would be like to look in your child's face and see his father so clearly. You okay leaving Sam? Yeah, she's, you know, she's doing a lot better. I could get some work done. She needs to get some rest. How do you feel? I mean, you almost lost. I mean, just, just because she looks like Brenda, I mean, what kind of freak is willing to kill 
an innocent woman just to kidnap another. We got to find this guy. Okay, so where, where do we stand right okay, now? We got nothing. Because I got, I got Spinelli hacking into the Metro Court, right? Maybe we can get some information on Theo. Okay, this Carly. What's She's she trying to help, there? but Jack's getting all law and order on me, so, you know, oh, he only wants to cooperate with the cops. Okay, if anything was ever on the internet, Spinelli's going to find it. The, the only lead we really have is that Sean Butler. Did you talk to him at the hospital? One of Theo's men passed himself off as an orderly and tried to suffocate Sean. Sean fought him off and slipped away. Where is he? Well, I found him at the airport. Good, good. Where'd you take him? Sean's in Manhattan. What, what okay, you... hold on. He kept, he kept a record of all his dealings with Theo in a high security safe deposit box. He's looking through it right now to see if he can find a clue. You sent somebody with him? There right? wasn't enough time, sonny. So it's the only lead we got on Brenda, and you let him go? Sean is motivated to help. Motivated to disappear? That thing was motivated. I don't, I don't think he will. You don't think? We're, t we're talking about Brenda's okay, life you know right There's now. another possible lead. Let's just talk about that. Lucky figured out that, that Theo's married. Right. So a wife would be a more logical accomplice if Spinelli can figure out who she is. That doesn't work for me. What she, what, you know what I should have done? I should have taken that Sean guy away from Carly's house, done what I had to do to take... Why, how could you just let him go? Well, I don't think he knows any more than he's saying Why right is now. everybody defending this he guy? He thinks there's something in that safety deposit box that could lead us to Theo. you got to give it a shot. He's working you, and you're never going to see him again. What are you talking about? If he wanted to run, he could have run. Okay, you know what? I'm glad he did, because I almost... I almost killed him in front of my kids. Da Dante and Michael were one thing, but Morgan, that's not right. How does this stuff turn? You know, a couple of days ago, it, we're at the wedding. Everybody's happy, welcoming, you know, you know, Brenda into the family. I never felt more close to, to all of them. Now, Michael and Morgan, now I've seen what you've seen. What I don't want anybody to see. And now I've alienated Dante when I need him most. Sam, can I ask your professional opinion as a PI? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm, I'm grateful for anything that keeps me occupied. I have a picture I would like you to look at. I need an objective take on it. All right. Oh, not this one, but look what? how cute Jake is. Oh, <laughs> no. <gasps> look at that face. He looks so preoccupied. He looks exactly like Jason, you know. I know, he's getting more and more like Jason every day. I guess I'm going to have to explain things sooner than I thought. Well, I think you just have to tell him that Jason never stopped loving him. Everyone was just trying to protect him. Yeah, when the timing is right. I can't just imagine having a child that looks exactly like Jason. Not that I want a baby. I, I, I don't. I don't. Any, anyway, what, what's that, where's that picture? You know, you need to get back to sleep, and I need to finish my round, so... Are you sure? That's not a problem. Yes, I can... no, I'm, I'm very sure. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. There's a wall between Dante and me. We keep tearing it down, something happens, and then we build it back up even worse. You know, I told, I told Dante and Lulu to take a vacation. You know, just take some time off. I, I, you know, I knew Dante wouldn't go for it, but I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go against my son to find Brenda. We don't really have to go against Dante. We can just you know, kind of work around him. Jason, it's bad. It's gonna get worse, but I'm telling you, I don't care how many enemies come after me, I'm gonna find Brenda if that's the last thing I ever do. Okay. Hey, hey Dante's got one of Theo's guys down at the PCPD. It's the same guy who tried to kill Sean Butler. All right, I'll see you. Hey, thanks for bringing us by. Hey, come, come here. Come in here. How, how, how did you know that Dante uh, found this guy? I found him. Yeah, I followed him to an alley and... and okay, S stop. I need you to start at the beginning because I really need to know how you got involved in the situation. Okay. Well, Molly spotted this guy, leaving Kelly's. She said he was the one who was trying to kill Sean Butler, and uh, I followed him. Well, why didn't, why didn't you call me? Oh, 
Molly don't exaggerate things, so I want to make sure I had but some solid But she was right about this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I followed for a few blocks, but I think he spotted me because he, he ducked into an alley off third. And, and uh, then he was waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah, I should have known better than that. I don't Did know. he pull a gun? Not until he mentioned the name Corinthos. When, when did Dante show up? Uh, about two, three minutes later. Yeah. I, I was trying to talk the guy down, and, and, and Dante showed up. I used that as a distraction, got the gun away from him. I, I used everything that you taught me, Jason. I took my opponent off balance, and I put him down. Yeah, but I, I, I taught you those moves so you could survive in prison. Yeah. You're, you're not in prison anymore. I don't want you anywhere near a situation like that. I thought you knew I could handle myself. Yeah, but what, what if the gun went off and you got shot? I wasn't. What if the other guy got shot and died by accident? You would have lost your parole and you wouldn't have been right back in Pentonville. None of that stuff happened. I followed the guy and I got the gun away from him. Look, I didn't do anything that you wouldn't have done. Dr. Renfro. I'm so glad to see you feeling better. Thank you. Dr. I probably should have brought CDs instead of crime novels. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I wasn't really expecting a visit. We barely even know each other. Well... You were so kind to Brenda when she was staying at Jason's. I, I thought the least I could do to thank you was stop by and say hello. Hi. <laughs> Especially given the circumstances. I know. What kind of a madman tries to kill you in place of Brenda? One that will be history very soon, I hope. <sighs> Does Jason have some idea where uh, Theo Hoffman is hiding? No, you know, I'm not really in on the loop of things, but as far as I know, there aren't any leads. It's as if Brenda and Theo just vanished off the face of the planet. <sighs> so wh why did you follow Theo's guy? I told you, Molly. No, no, I, didn't, I didn't ask you why you were suspicious. I asked why you chose to follow a hired killer instead of calling one of ten people who could have handled the situation. I didn't want you. to call anybody else. I wanted to take care of it myself. Why? To prove that I could. Well, you don't, you don't have to prove anything, Michael. Well, maybe I had to prove something to myself. Oh, something I could actually do right, something I'm actually good at. You're good at a lot of things. Like what? Let other people protect me? Let other people take care of me? I have to be able to take care of myself. Like, you know, when Dante showed up, he asked me what I would have done if he wasn't there. I would have done the exact same thing. I'm not going to be anybody's victim. So you did what you did today because of what what happened in prison? Okay, look, if you're mad about what happened, just no, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, listen, I don't, I just don't want to push you, okay? You just need to be aware of what's driving you. You should be able to step back from the situation, look at it, think it through without reacting, because if you get emotional, you make mistakes, and mistakes will get you killed. Okay, I'll do better next time. Look, there's not going to be a next what time. Are you talking what am about? I talking about? You got too close to this business today. Look, Sam almost died, and you're going after Theo. You have more than you can handle right now. There's something I can take care of on my own. But I wish, I wish you would believe that, Jason. I wish you would believe in me.